Good morning. The thing that I'm thinking about this morning is how important it is to fall in love with your imperfect creativity. And here's what I mean by that. When we get older, you know, like, I don't know, over five or maybe 10, <laughs> we expect ourselves to be perfect. And everything new that we try, if we can't do it perfectly, we hesitate to put it out in the world. I mean, think back to when you were a kid, the first time you rode a bike. Were you perfect at it? Of course you weren't. You fell and it was hard. You couldn't quite balance. And then you got used to it and you got better and better. Whether it's starting a business or trying something new, it seems like when we're adults, we don't want to start until it's perfect. And the tragedy of that is it keeps us from falling in love with our creativity. We have to put our imperfect work out there in the world so that we can get feedback and we can learn and we can get better and better and better. An example uh, in my business of this is our Sparkle and Rise e-magazine. We have been putting that magazine out for about a year and a half now. And if you go back and look at the first issue, as proud as I was of it, I have to tell you, it is nowhere near the quality and just the, the, the beauty and the value that the magazine is today. And that's because we put our imperfect work out there, we learned and we continued to make it better and better. Seth Godin uh, had a blog recently, I'm gonna read to it super short, that I just loved around this idea of falling in love with your imperfect creativity. He said, perfect or we're not going, is the title. When does this rule apply? It doesn't apply to anyone we've ever hired. It doesn't apply to anything we've ever purchased. It doesn't apply to any project we've sponsored or anyone we ever voted for, dated, or befriended. In fact, it's a great excuse for the things we're afraid to do or where our, incl our inclination is to say, no way. If you're hoping for inaction, look for perfect. Now, I know you're not hoping for inaction, so I am going to urge you to fall in love with your imperfect creativity. Get out there and start that business, start that product, um, you know, offer your service, try something new, start a new hobby, and get used to the idea that it's not only not going to be perfect, but it's going to be fun while you're learning. Let me know what you think about falling in love with imperfect creativity. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.